Good morning, Guardians. Happy Tuesday. Happy Reset. This is Lifting Titan with Player Play. And today I will be going over how to do one of the Lost Sectors, which is going to be on the moon right before Reset here in Los Angeles. This is going to be a guide for the K1 Communion Lost Sector. Um, as we load in, guys, make sure to give me a follow a, and some love on my socials right here on PlurFXLA on Twitch and my gamer tag, Lifting Titan, both on Steam and on Xbox. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to go over loadouts for Hunter and all that other great stuff so you guys can get the Hunter um, exotic from the Lost Sector. Let me go ahead and using Dim really, really fast to go ahead and get my loadout settled um, and everything. This lost sector, guys, honestly, isn't too, 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 too hard, um, but I am gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get us over to the start and then go over the loadout. So from the spawn on moon, take a right, I'm gonna go to the right side of the map. As always, guys, make sure you run through the Lost Sector, not on Legendary beforehand, so you are all good to go. Um, so you kind of know where the enemies spawn, the ads, um, you know, when you defeat a boss, how many ads come out. All that type of fun stuff. All right, we are here. All right, so for loadout. All right, so I'm running on my Hunter. Um, I'm going to be running Gunslinger, Bottom Tree with a Masterworked Extraordinary Rendition. Um, the role I have on this one is Full Bore, Tactical Mag, Outlaw, Frenzy, with a Backup Mag and a Stability Masterwork. A Vision of Confluence, guys, with Full Bore, Armor Piercing Rounds, Zen Moment, Firefly, and a Range Stat. Of course, the God of All Heavies, Anarchy. As for Exotic on the... Um, doing the Celestial Nighthawk, and I am running it with Blast Radius and Scout Rifle Ammo Finder, as well as Overload Submachine Gun, Anti-Barrier Scout Rifle, Heal Thyself. On my chest, I have the Arc Resistance mod, which comes in handy, guys. Make sure you have that. And this mod here, Swift Charge, becoming charged with light by rapidly defeating combatants with Pulse Rifles, Sidearms, or Submachine Guns. I also have High Energy Fire, and then, of course, uh, breach and clear on my legs. Let's go ahead and start the Lost Sector, guys. Alrighty, let's get it. All right, so when you guys first walk in here, there's going to be a bunch of ads. Go ahead and throw your grenades. Stay back with your scout rifle. Start hand-picking off everybody. If you have Dragonfly, that will work great here as well. Also, the modifiers on this guy, solar damage does twice as much as well as uh, the Vandals will drop the little spider web uh, slow bombs when you defeat them, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I ended up getting the uh, the leg pieces, guys, on my third run yesterday. Um, so this is really easy to go ahead and um, run pretty fastly once you get the hang and flow of it. I think my fastest time was like seven minutes. Ooh, that was bad. Um, so this is a really easy way to farm the exotic. Um, there's also a hidden champion at the end that I kept forgetting to get, so I'll be sure to point that out towards the end of the video. All right, let's go ahead and... Come on, stick your heads out. All right, now on this part, like I said, I've run this enough, guys. I kind of know um, the flow of everything. All right. You guys do get a submachine gun with frenzy it is absolutely amazing especially if it's masterworked so all right there's that all right this room can be a little tricky guys when you come in um all right i'm gonna go ahead and pop anarchy right there by the door
All right. So you kind of want to stay back on this part, guys. Uh, hold off in the back. That, um, I'm not running void, so I'm actually going to burn my super on that servitor there, which is fine, because um, this will take enough time. I will have super by the final boss. All right. So take out that right side first, then focus on the vandals on the left side. All right. Pop my super. Take out that servitor. Boom. Done. Um, all right. Now on this part. Um, you want to take out the vandals in the back, kind of keep strafing back and forth behind this cover here. Um, take out the vandals methodically and slowly, your scout rifle is going to be your best friend. Alright, now, once you take out most of those adds, the barrier servitor is going to pop up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run to back behind the right side, reload my anarchy. Alright, go ahead and slide over. Now, oh, really? How did I miss all of those shots of Anarchy? Hold on. There we go. Hit him. All right. So as Anarchy is doing damage, the barrier is going to pop now. Take out that barrier, throw a grenade, and boom. Done. Now go ahead and run back to where we just were, guys. And let's go ahead and submachine gun some of these ads. Run back. So on this part, it was very overwhelming the first time I did it. Do not get stressed out. As you guys see, you kind of have to duck and dodge and... Um, there we go. Boom. Done. All right. Kind of duck and dodge on that part. This next room, there's going to be an overload champion. So my advice, take out these Marauders first with your submachine gun. All right. Now, go ahead and stun. Oop. Stun the overload. Oh, well, if I didn't die there, that was great. Sometimes that happens. That's all good. If that happens to you guys, don't get frustrated. All right, let's go through that door again. We're going to go ahead and stun the Overload first, pop some Anarchy around him, and he will go ahead and just melt. All right, he's stunned. Reload, Anarchy. When he pops back up, boom, done. Oop. There we go, done. All right, now, for the Vandals, guys, you can either hold back like I am or rush, whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm going to go ahead and hold back a little bit. All right. Pick up the ammo. Let's get that vandal in that other room. Let's throw a nade out. And boom. Done. All right. Let's go through this room. There's going to be some ads here. As you guys can see, I, my resilience is also up pretty high. Um, so I can take a few hits. Um, and I'm also uh, 20 above where you should be with light level, which is helping tremendously. Um, I do want to mention, make sure that all your weapons are relatively higher. Uh, the higher light level your weapons, the more damage it will do, even if your overall light level is lower. All right, final boss room, guys. This is going, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reload Anarchy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop Anarchy there. All right, there's the bad guy. There's the overload. He literally went right in my Anarchy. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, come on. And he's taken care of. All right, let's get out of there. Let's go back in this room. All right, so if you guys saw what I did there, I popped down Anarchy on the ads um, and kind of shepherd them over there. Now from here, I'm going to hold back a little bit because this room does get a little crazy, especially with all of the vandals that pop up. So now you basically want to want to hold back a little bit and basically very slowly go through this room. Um, I also don't have on any armor mods, um, but heavy ammo seems to drop pretty regularly in here. So, um, I'm going to hide here till my health is up. Peek around the corner. Oof. Oh, yep, yeah, that was my mistake. Alright. So again, kind of hold back. Uh, scout rifles are your best friends on these lost sectors. All right, done. Let's go ahead and... Ooh. I just woke up, guys. Can you tell? Um, all right. I am not playing how I was last night. I also ran this about 12 times last night to prepare for this video. So, uh, you know. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and go up. 
All right, now at this point, guys, there are going to be shanks that come up. Just kind of methodically take them out. All right, now, once you take down that shank, the boss is going to spawn. Pop some anarchy there. Pop some anarchy there and then run. And the reason for this, it's going to kill most of the adds as they come out. See that? I'm getting kills even though I'm not over there. Now, this is going to be tricky. So, oop, you kind of want to run back to where we spawn in at, all right? Now, from this, this location, right? You want to anarchy the boss. I'm gonna pop golden gun and boom he's melted now you are not done there's going to be a, another champion that you have to get to get the platinum rewards i was running this and didn't know that until it kept saying gold rewards and it, it took a second to uh spawn in so you guys are going to run to the left of the arena take out the ads as they're popping up so you didn't do all this for nothing um kind of just take out the ads over there and the champion uh is going to pop up here in a minute give it a second Got to kill some of these other ads for it to, for it to spawn. All right. Okay, there it is. Boom. Done. All right. So it's going to spawn from this location. Okay. It's going to pop its barrier shield. Come on. Pop it. Pop it. Where'd you go? All right. Boom. That is the final champion. Now you guys can actually go over to... The final chest, pick up the chest. You can actually avoid all the other ads. You don't need to get them. And, oh, dang it. Uh, I mean, you guys can get those ads if you guys want to, but it's not necessary. Because um, basically you have all the champions. You will get platinum rewards now. So go ahead and just run over to that chest and then stay alive. So we're going to run over to the final chest. Um, hopefully I'll get it this run again. The better roll and boom, done. Okay, I did not. Um, but I did actually get it yesterday, so there you guys go. There is the uh, Lost Sector in about under 10 minutes. Let me go ahead and um, let me show you guys what you get from doing it uh, this week for the legs. All right, so right here, it's the Star Eater Scales Exotic, guys. It kind of reminds me of what uh, Aquaman does. Looks like, so Feast of Light, you gain additional super energy from orbs of power you pick up. While your super energy is full, picking up an orb of power overcharges your super, causing you to gain a burst of healing when cast and a bonus to your super damage. At maximum overcharge, you also gain an overshield. So, I got these to drop at uh, 63 stat level, guys, which is an okay roll. Um, you know, I've gotten exotics that drop at 67, 70, but these look just amazing and badass. As for the shader, I am using the Crucible Metallic. And it literally looks like fish scales. It's it's Bungie did a really good job on making um, this exotic. So that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys give me a uh, like and follow over on my socials, um, Plurifex LA on Twitch, and then Lifting Titan on Steam and Xbox. And I will go ahead and catch you guys.